Here at Cheese and Wine, we are based in Lisbon, but we also love recommending to our guests to explore the beautiful outskirts, the neighboring towns that will only enhance your travel experience here in Portugal. This time we take you to Obidos, this picturesque, well-preserved and incredibly charming medieval castle town located in the Oeste or the western region of Portugal, close to the Atlantic coast. It's an hour ride from Lisbon and well worth the visit. A medieval town that looks straight out of a fairy tale book. The town itself is contained within the fortified castle walls. Go through its main entrance, Porta de Vila, and you'll find a manual in porch with azulejo decoration. And then proceed to walk along the town's centuries old cobblestone pathways, its labyrinthine streets through white painted houses with blue and yellow motifs that delight all those who come here. Stop by at the Livraria do Mercado Biologico, a bookshop which also happens to be an organic market. This is one of the town's many bookshops. At its love for literature, it's manifested that it's been recently named by UNESCO as a city of literature. The town is also popular for chocolates, with its annual chocolate festival, and Ginginia, the sweet cherry liquor that's native here. That's of course served in a chocolate cup. Here's another thing to explore. Standing on small squares are good examples of the religious and civil architecture of the golden age of this village. Visit the 13th century Gothic Basilica of Igreja de São Pedro. And then visit the older main church of Obidos, Igreja de Santa Maria. This richly detailed, ornate church, built throughout the centuries, reflecting the different stylistic periods of its time, from Renaissance, Manuelin, Mannerist and Baroque. From walls to ceiling, it's all covered by tiles and handcrafted details. Obidos has this medieval atmosphere that's quite unique on its own. It's a great example of a fortified medieval fortress. Walk along its castle walls that's been here since the Roman times. Obidos was already occupied by Celtic tribes and later Phoenicians before the Romans came, and later captured from the Moors by the first king of Portugal, King Afonso Henriques. The town became even more prosperous from the moment it was appointed by the royal family when King Denis offered the town as a wedding gift to his wife, Queen Isabel. And thus, from then on, it belonged to the line of queens as part of Casa das Reinas. And to really see the medieval town in a good vantage point, go to the hilltop for views of the town and the great countryside. Later on for lunch, we chose Hamon Hamon, this rustic, delightful little restaurant where we enjoyed good food, lovely wine and the happy company of our cheese and wine team. To cap off our Obidos trip, we headed to Lagoa de Obidos, this coastal lagoon just a short ride away, to breathe that fresh air and further on, take a nice walk along Praia de Foz do Arelio, where the lagoon opens up to the ocean. Overall, this makes for a wonderful getaway, which is also a great example of the day trips you can have outside of Lisbon in places that's slightly off the beaten track, that's rarely explored and yet offering some of the most beautiful locations in Portugal. Stay tuned for more other videos here at Cheese & Wine.